you know, you've had some great mentors along the way. What kind of advice have you received along the way that you think has just been very helpful for your career? And then w what advice would you have for a young person wanting to get into composing in, in this world? Yeah, it's kind of, it's an interesting question. Nobody's asked me what kind of advice I ever had. <laughs> Looking back at it, probably wasn't a whole lot. Um, you know, like I, like I said in some other questions, I was just so fortunate to... Uh, to come up in an environment for nine years that was just taught me so much about it that uh, you know I didn't need to get a lot of advice I just learned a lot but um, you know people always ask how can I get started or what's the best way um, I think we talked about in some earlier questions um, I mean obviously one you have to love it because it's it uh, it, it takes priority to be successful. I mean, you have to sacrifice a lot of other a uh, lot of other stuff in your life, I, th I think, to really uh, be successful at it. And so if you don't love it, it's probably not what you should be doing. Um, and, you know, obviously you have to be good at it and um, and get lucky and meet people. But I still say uh, the best road in is through, uh, you know, meet as many people as you can, knock on doors, ask for help, you know, offer, offer whatever you can do and try to get a job, you know, working for somebody that's doing it. And, and I'm a true believer at, uh, at really, you know, trying to pick a role model, of, try to, uh, try to copy you know, or emulate what somebody else is doing. It's like, you know, look at somebody else that's, you know, maybe uh, one or two steps ahead of you. Say, well, what are they doing? You know, how did they get there? What can I be doing? And, you know, one of the people that I did that with was actually Chris Beck. Um, I worked for Mike Post for nine years. Uh, in my ninth year, I was so busy writing for Mike and engineering all his stuff. Uh, re you know, recording and producing his stuff. I I was writing, I think, on five of his shows at that point. And I just basically begged him, please replace me um, as your engineer. And Chris Beck got hired that year, and he was fresh out of USC. Uh, basically had no credits, uh, you know, just was unbelievably uh, talented and, and a, a fireball of energy. And he right away was just getting work outside of Mike. He was getting all these little jobs and, I, and it was like, to me, I was just like, oh my God, how are you doing that? It's like, <laughs> I have way more experience than you and all this stuff. So he was really an eye-opening experience for me and, and, you know, almost basically grabbed me and shook me. He was like, you know, you can get work. It's, you know, it's not that hard outside. So I really just, you know, saw him come in and, and, and just saw the way he did things differently. And he was getting work and and so he kind of opened my eyes so I just think it's you know it's really smart to just see find somebody who's who's doing something you want to be doing and try to figure out why it's working for them.